Welcome to PD Talk Money. Talk Money. Talk Money. Talk Money. Talk Money. Talk Money. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to PD Talk Money. Our today topic is spend on what you need, not what you want. And I'm going to walk you through the differences between needs and want. So many people go in life, especially in America. Let me be better exact here. American people spend their money on what they want, not what they need. And there is so you different there. And I don't blame them because no one have really take time to educate the American people. And if you're watching this, you could be one of those. That the needs and the wants. The ones are the thing that you can survive without. These are the thing that you really don't need. These are the thing that you can have a beautiful life without wanting them. An example, you have four pair of shoes at home. You have four pair of shoes at home. And you go into the market and you walk into this wonderful market. You go to the Messi or you go to Target. And you see another beautiful shoes. And you say, oh gee, this shoes really look on me, really will look good on me, or will really look good on my girlfriend or my wife. When your girlfriend already has millions of other shoes at home, in which she does have some of the shoes that she don't even wear two years in a row and she never wore them. You have shoes at home that you have never worn before, and there you went to the market and you saw these beautiful shoes and you buy it. Now, that is the ones because you can survive without it, because you don't need it. You go into the market and you see this beautiful suit, or this really nice clothes, and you just buy. And you know you really don't need it. You can survive without it because you have too many clothes at home. Those are ones. You go into the market and you end up buying another phone. When you know already, you have a pawn. But you saying, oh, this phone of mine, for example, this is my iPhone here. I have an iPhone here. But if I act like Americans, I will go into the market and buy another iPhone. I'll go into the market and buy another iPhone, new iPhone. Do I really need to buy a new iPhone? Absolutely no. That is not a need. It's a want. I just want to show up. This is something that will not hurt me if I don't buy it. But many Americans, because they are not being trained pretty well on their money management and how to manage their money, that is why they go from need to wants and they don't know the difference between the needs and the wants. So they end up spending a lot of money on the thing. If you go into the American family home today, you will find so many clauses so many nonsense of shares and you will wonder what is going on here. It is also now in the immigrant community, all these communities that are now in America, they have turned into what we call the American dream of spending on what you want in a set of what you need. And this is why you end up seeing your credit card growing up in a high level. You spending, you overspending, you overspending money. You're spending beyond your level because you are buying things that you want but not things that you need. So the difference here are that the ones are the thing you can survive without and the needs are the thing that you really, the essential to your life and you need them in order for you to survive. Things such as food, you need the food to survive. You need the water to survive. You need the medical, you need, you need to see the doctor in order for you to survive. You need to see the dentist in order for your teeth to be clean so that you can really have a good teeth. You need to see the eye doctor so that you can see pretty well. You need all these things in order for you to survive. Now, 
when it comes to the work, you need the job to survive. So when you have a job that is far away, then you need a car so that you can drive to your place of work. Because without a job, you cannot survive. So you need a car that will take you to the place of your work so that you can survive. And now, when you have a car that takes you to work, it has no mechanical, it has no technical issues. It has no mechanical issues. You have a very nice car that takes you to work. Just because the car is 2006 and now you want to change that car because you want to get a new one, you are now turning from the need to the want. Because you already have a car that is doing the work. And you are saying, well, this car, because let's say, for example, you work at the UBM Medical Center. You are a cleaner. Or a doctor or whatever kind of work you do there. Or a nurse. You have a car that is doing good. You have a Toyota that is 2007 or 2005. It will run pretty well. It has no any problem. It has no issue. Got no issue at all. But you end up saying, well, you go to the Toyota dealers and you see this brand new Toyota and you say, well, I want to buy this Toyota. This really look, I will really look good in this Toyota. That is not, that is not a need because you can survive without buying that Toyota since you already have a Toyota that takes you to work. So what you are doing in that case now, you move from the need to the ones because you just want to show up. So you end up spending thousands of dollars that you were supposed to save for the little journey. But now you're spending it on the toy when you already have a toy that is in good condition and is still doing the work it is required to do. So brothers and sisters, it is time for you to look at, into your closet. Go into your closet today and you will see that what I'm talking here, it is true. You will find that you have so many clothes in your closet that you don't even wear. Yet, you are still going to the market to buy new clothes. You still have bells if you are a young man. You still have so many bells in your closet. But when you go to the market, you want another new bell. And you have the bells that are doing the work. You have so many neckties at home if you are someone who wears suit like me sometime. You will still need to go to the market and buy a what? And buy a new tie. Yeah. I will be there. I'm watching you, man. So that thing right there is you need to make the difference. You need to make you need to make a difference there. So what you need to do in these scenarios is that you need to go and focus on the thing that you really need, not the thing that you really want. Let's say you go out with your group of your friends and you want to go out. You know that in your house, inside your house, you have the food. You have the food that, you have enough food that you want, you can eat for days. But you say, no, I don't want to eat the food in my house. I want to go outside and spend $100. It, it is not, it is, it is now become the one because it is, you are not going out to eat because you don't have food at home. You have so much food at home, but you don't want to eat the food that is at home. You want to go and spend that a lot of money outside because you are tired of the damn food you have in your freezer at home. Well, I'm saying if you do it once in a month, it's okay. But if you're doing it every week, that means it, has, it will change the title from being the need to become the one because you're just going there for the luxury. Alright? That thing there is the one thing that you really don't need to do. So, let's say you want to go to Columbus, Ohio. You have a good Toyota. Instead of driving your own Toyota to Columbus, Ohio, you want to really look good and you go to the rental, to the car rental company and you rent this fantastic BMW because you want to look so majestically and so rich in that vehicle. Leaving your own Toyota. So you now go and spend the money that you would have saved if you could have driven your own Toyota to, to Columbus, Ohio. You see how you end up spending money on the thing you are not supposed to be spending money on. Let's say you are a cameraman. The current camera that you have is a good camera. It does the work pretty well, does a professional job. 
But because you read something on the news that say, oh, this new camera is so good. Just like what the Apple company always does when they come up with a new iPhone every year, saying, oh, this iPhone is better than... Why do they keep saying this iPhone? Why do they keep saying this iPhone is better than the other iPhone? Yet this iPhone it was made by them. This is the business language. So a cameraman will read the news on the news channel saying, oh, we have this brand new camera. This camera does this and does this and does this. And instead of taking his time to study the new camera, he would just rush to the market and spend thousands of dollars on the new camera. To his surprise, later on, it will turn out that the camera is actually having the same functionalities with the old camera that he has. It is too late because he has already spent money. Now he has all these young two, two great cameras at home, so anytime he can choose to use any. And he cannot sell the old camera. When he tries to sell the old camera, he will not make enough money out of it. So you see, but because of the poor thinking of the, and the poor differentiations of the differences between needs and one, this camera guy went and bought the camera when he was not afford to buy a camera. You see? So understand that. The need are the things that are essential to the survival. That if you don't have it, you cannot survive. To me, my health is very important. I have to eat good food. There's no compromise about that. I don't care how much it costs. It has to be organic food. My health compass, my food come. I have to spend money on something related to the health issue and the food. This thing come first. If I have five closets, those are enough for me. I would rather spend the money on the needy people than spending money on the thing that I don't need. Of course, you need to pay the, your rents because if you don't pay your rents, then you'll be kicked out by the landlord. And then you will have a hard time surviving. So that is a need now. You need to have the roof above you. That is a need. You need to pay the landlord. You need to pay the bills or otherwise the Burlington, the Burlington electricity will cut off your electron, electricity. So you need to pay that because it's one of the needs. You, if you are a landlord, you need to pay the water bill because if you don't do, they will cut off your water or the bill will continue to increase. You will not survive without the water. You will not survive without the water. You need all those. Those are the need. Things that you know you cannot survive without them. But the thing that you know you can survive without them, those are the ones and you don't need them. An example, look at my office now. I have so many shares here. And if I'm thinking like those other guys, I will then want to go to the market and say I want to buy some shares. When I know the shares that are at the office already are doing the work that they're supposed to be doing at the shares. So I go there and buy the new, brand new shares and look say, okay, when the ones that are already there are not worn out, they really look fantastic, they look beautiful and professional. And now just because I want the job, I, because my eye sees something so beautiful in the market, I say, oh my God, I need to have this. You, I really don't need to have that because I already have it. So what is the point of me bringing this one in and come now and put the other thing out and start advertising on the crack list because I want to sell the one in my office. Sell them only when they want out and get the new one to make your office look professional. But when your office looks so professional, you have so clean chair and everything looks so beautiful, what is the point of you now going to change the table? Look at this table of mine. Unbelievable. You cannot find this table in so many of the offices. But if I am the guy who don't understand the differences between needs and wants, then I would, I would just randomly go to the market and see another table, another desk table that look really in different color and different design. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to get rid of the one I have. What is wrong with the one I have? It's wide enough, it's very big, clean, and very new. Just because the design looks different from the design of the one that I saw in the market, it will just make me change my mind and wanting to get that one, bring it to the office and get rid of the one I have. 
You see, that's a poor management, poor mindset, lack of knowledge, lack of understanding the difference between needs and want. So ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Peter Deng, and I'm here to help you, tell you, teach you so that you understand, go in detail, so you understand the difference between needs and wants, so that you live a good life, not the American life of spending money on wants. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to change your life so that you can begin to spend money on needs, not on the wants. So you will be able to have enough to spend on the needy people, so that you will be able to have enough to spend on your children. Because you don't want your children to grow up and ask you later on, Dad, what have you been doing when you were at a young age? Now I need 10,000 and you cannot even give it to me. What are you going to tell your, your child? Will you tell your child, child, I was working from paycheck to paycheck? Or I was spending the money buying the thing that I really didn't need, but nobody taught me to not spend the money in that way? That would be better wrong of you because I am here to teach you and I am here to help you be able to spend the money on the thing that you need. That is why you should subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the link below www.peterding.com and please sign up and let me coach you so that you become successful. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. This is PD Talk Money. Bye for now.